All right. So uh, good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Caitlin Gannon. I'm the education coordinator at the Jacques Cousteau National Estuarine Research Reserve. I'm here to talk about my uh, science collaborative transfer project, which is titled uh, Adopting Program Coordination Methods and Best Practices to Launch Community-Driven Research Efforts on the American Eel or Anguilla Wistrata. Uh, collaborating partners on this effort is uh, Chris Bowser and Sarah Mount from the Hudson River Reserve. Uh, just a little bit of background uh, to get things started. Um, since 2008, the Hudson River Reserve has had a successful eel monitoring project with the help of community members and students. And the JC Near is looking to uh, transfer this Hudson River um, eel monitoring project um, to the JC Near location in order to strengthen relationships between uh, the JC Near and community members, and also provide useful information about the American eel uh, to fishery managers at the conclusion of the project. Uh, the management need and end users um, associated with this effort, uh, we have volunteers, they're our primary end user. Uh, we have many applications that come through the JC Near um, through our, our volunteer program, and many of them have a desire to be involved in research and monitoring or some sort of field work. Um, about 89% of those applications indicate these on um, volunteer applications. Uh, so it's a popular choice. Um, but research and monitoring efforts are often limited or sporadic throughout the year. Um, so that's one of the main reasons why we want to adopt um, or transfer um, this uh, community science program to the JC Near because um, it's a, a science program uh, where people are involved in field work. Um, a large age range of individuals can participate and it's ongoing and on a consistent basis. Um, our second user group um, is K through 12 education, teachers and students. There is a need for authentic science experiences and resources in the classroom. Um, prior to the proposal, I polled teachers locally. Um, about 60% of them would be interested in a community science type of uh, education program or experience for their students and believe that hands-on learning is uh, very important in education. Um, and this project would also be very compatible with New Jersey's uh, science education standards. Uh, finally, um, the American eel is an important species in decline. So the third and future end user would be uh, New Jersey Division of Fish and Wildlife, Marine Fisheries Administration. Um, studying the American eel is not the main focus of this project, but um, this community science effort um, monitoring you know, glass eels in the JC Near Estuary can provide um, some information, some, some data to uh, fisheries managers and provide um, more understanding um, within this area in particular. So that will be starting in spring of 2004 of us um, uh, getting in contact more often with the New Jersey Division of Fish and Wildlife and keeping them posted on our efforts. Um, so what we've done so far, this is a two-year project. We just finished year one. Uh, year one was all about learning from the Hudson River Reserve and how they um, did their uh, eel monitoring, um, glass eel monitoring. Um, uh, so transferring best practices for implementation and um, finding potential collection sites at the Jacques Cousteau Reserve um, as well. So we had um, two visits, reciprocal visits to the reserves. Um, I went to the Hudson River Reserve in late winter and then very early spring staff from the Hudson River Reserve came to the JC Near um, to kind of scope out some of these uh, locations, get a feel for um, how the, the, the collection process goes and also um, look around the JC near to find potential collection spots with the help of eel mops, which are the uh, things in the top uh, right corner picture. We had volunteers help us make eel mops, which are put at uh, in streams to help us determine if there are presence or absences of presence or absence of eels um, specifically in that area. And then in year two, we'd like to um, put out fike nets, um, which are actually uh, which actually track the eels 
Uh, there's a flake net in the bottom uh, left corner picture that's at the Hudson River Reserve. Um, during my visit, I helped them install one. Um, so we would like to do that at the JC near at our two sites of interest. Um, and then also during year two, we'd like to develop some outreach materials, do some pilot training and pilot routine collections with volunteers, and even some classes maybe can come out with us as well. Um, we'd also like to utilize the graphics team from the Science Collaborative to help us with uh, creating graphics for training purposes and education purposes as well, especially in our um, outreach materials and um, guides that we create as a result. Um, so it goes into anticipated products and benefits, um, a lot of outreach and training materials, especially in our second year, how-to guides, in-person workshops, planning uh, guides for staff. And then at the conclusion of year two, we'd like to have a poster um, at the NIRS NIRA annual meeting in 2023. Um, and then ultimately, um, starting that next spring in 2024, we want to really launch this community science program at the JC Near as an ongoing opportunity for students and volunteers to get involved in, and then also down the road, work with teachers to develop lessons and resources. Thank you very much.